Hi, in this video let's learn basics of MS Excel, the Excel workbook itself. Let's look at how to open MS Excel. To open MS Excel, click on the start window and you see Office 365 folder, click on that and below that you will see MS Excel icon. So click on that to open Excel workbook. So Excel workbook opens and it asks you to select a template. By default you select blank workbook. So when you open the Excel workbook, at the top left corner what you see is the quick access toolbar. You will have save, undo and redo button by default. Just below that you have home, insert, page layout, formula, data, review, view and help. These are all called tabs. Under each tab you will have certain commands. So if you look at insert, you have certain commands. Similarly for page layout you will have the, its own command. So, you have tabs, under that you have set of commands, so this entire section is called a ribbon. Just below that, what you see is the name box, this shows the cell reference name, the name of the cell. Next to that, you have a formula bar, the formulas which you enter in a cell or the data what you enter in a cell will reflect in the formula bar. So below that, this entire area is called worksheet. So the worksheet is a combination of columns and rows. So the, the columns are labeled with the alphabets. So these are all the columns and the rows are labeled with the numbers. So these are all the rows. The combination of columns and rows are called the worksheet. So by default Excel workbook will have one worksheet. To add multiple sheets you can use this plus icon. So when you click on the plus icon next to the sheet, it will add a new sheet. So now you can see the sheet 2 is added. So how do you rename a sheet? So you can rename a sheet by right clicking on the sheet name and select the rename option. So let me rename this as test. So you can also rename by double clicking on the sheet name. So how do you delete a sheet? So to delete a sheet, right click on the sheet and select delete option it will delete the sheet so now you have only the sheet one so let's understand what is cell right so these small boxes what you see in the worksheet area is called cell and let's understand how the cell is named right the cell is referenced by taking the intersection point of column and rows so what do you mean by that so for example if i select this cell I am in column B and row number 4. So the intersection of this area is or cell is called B4, right? The column B and the row number 4. So you see that name in the name box. So if I select this cell, this will this will show C6 because I am in column C and the row number 6. So now if, if you ask me in a worksheet how many columns and rows we have. So we have 10,48,576 rows and 16,384 columns. So this is the combination of columns and rows in a single worksheet. So next you need to understand the scroll bars. So you have two scroll bars in the Excel workbook. One is vertical scroll bar and the other one is horizontal scroll bar. The vertical scroll bar is used to move up and down and the horizontal scroll bar use, is used to move left and right. Below the scroll bar you have the zoom option. So you can zoom in and zoom out the worksheet area. So for example if you click on the plus icon you can see the worksheet area is getting zoomed in. So similarly if you can click on minus symbol the worksheet area is getting zoomed out. So at the top right you can see the options to close, minimize and maximize the worksheet and in the center of the workbook you see the workbook name. The work workbook name is named as book 1 by default when you open a new workbook. You can change the name while you are saving the workbook. To save the workbook click on file, click on the save option and select the location or the folder where you want to save. For example, I want to save this workbook in my desktop and 
have have to change the file name so you give the file name you want i will give the na name as my first excel class and leave the save as type as excel workbook there are various option we will learn that in the upcoming classes so once you select the save as type click on save so now you can see the workbook name is changed to my first excel class and the file is saved in the desktop so i hope you have understood the basics of excel how the excel workbook is structured and how do you save a file so in the upcoming videos i will share the various options and the functionalities available in the excel keep watching thank you